now I am explaining the transient solution of a finite birth death process. So, using this one can find out the transient solution of uh, the birth death process which I have discussed uh, today's class MM1 n, MMCK and MMCC also. So, the logic is same that means, you have a birth death process with the finite state space therefore, the Q matrix is going to be a degree whatever be the number of uh, states in the state space and it is going to be a dry diagonal matrix and you know the lambda ends and the mu ends birth rates as well as the death rates and the birth rates and the death rates are going to be different for the these three models. There are many literature over the transient solution of a finite birth death process started with uh, Murphy and uh, Odono he, he uses the polynomial method and in 1978 uh, Rosenlund uh, also found the transient solution for the finite BDP using again the different polynomial methods and Chiang in 1980 he made a matrix method to get this uh, transient solution. Then later Van Doon gave the solution using a spectral representation method and Nikiforov at all 1991 he also gave the transient solution using orthogonal polynomial. and later uh, Kijima also gave the solution using eigenvalue methods. So, these are all the literatures uh, for getting the transient solution of a finite birth death process and here I am going to explain uh, how to get the transient behavior of I m m on n q in a very simplest form even though there are this many literature and many more literatures for the finite birth death process, but here I am explaining the overview of uh, how to get the transient behavior of M1 and Q and this is by uh, O.P. Sharma and U.C. Gupta. It appears in uh, stochastic processes and their applications volume 13, 1982. So, what this method work? Uh, you start with the forward Kolmogorov equation that is uh, pi t pi dash t that is started with pi dash of t that is equal to pi of t into q matrix, where pi is the matrix and pi dash is the with the derivatives and the q is the infinite decimal matrix. Take a forward Kolmogorov equation, then use the Laplace transform for each pi n of t you take the sorry here the pi dash of t is the vector it is a distribution of a x of t therefore, this is a vector and this is a vector and q is the matrix not the matrix which I said wrongly. So, this is a vector and this is a vector and q is the matrix. So, take a Laplace transform for each probability where the pi n of t that is nothing but uh, so the pi of t is a vector that started with uh, pi naught of 0 t, pi 1 of t and so on pi n of t, where pi n of t is nothing but what is the probability that the same notation I started when I discussed the birth death pro, sorry continuous time Markov chain, what is the probability that n customers in the system at time t, it is unconditional uh, probability distribution. So, pi n of t is the probability that uh, n customers in the system at time t and uh, using pi n of t you get the vector and you make a forward Kolmogorov equation pi dash of t is equal to pi of t times q and take a Laplace transform for each pi n of t that exists because this is a probability and uh, the conditions for the Laplace transform of this function satisfies can cross check therefore, you are taking a Laplace and so on this is going to be a function of theta. Before taking a Laplace and so on you need a initial condition also. So, at time 0 you assume that no customer in the system at time 0 no customer in the system that means x of 0 is equal to 0 
therefore uh, that probability is going to be 1 and all other probabilities are going to be 0 that is the initial probability vector. So, use this initial probability vector and apply it over the forward Kolmogorov equation taking L plus and so on, you will get the system of algebraic equation. Since, we are using the pi naught of 0 is equal to 1, you will get the first equation with the term 1 and all other terms are going to be 0. And you know the Laplace and sum of uh, derivative of the function. So, you substitute, uh, you take a Laplace and sum over the forward Kolmogorov equation with this initial condition as well as uh, pi n of uh, 0 is equal to 0 for n not equal to 0. So, you will have a algebraic equation that is a n plus 1 algebraic equations. It is a function of theta. You have to solve this algebraic uh, equation system of algebraic equation in terms of theta. Once you are able to solve these and take inverse Laplace and so on and that is going to be the system size at any time t. You can start saying that uh, this is going to be of the solution a times alpha n and b times uh, beta power n where alpha and beta are uh, given in this form where alpha is equal to this plus something and the beta is equal to minus something minus square root of this expression. So, you will get you have alpha as well as beta. Now, what do you want to find out? If you find out the constant a, a and b, you can get the Laplace and sum of a pi n of t. Then you take a la inverse Laplace and sum and you get the pi n of t. So, for that you need uh, the determinant of a uh, matrix of this form and here this is nothing but uh, all these values are uh, death rates and these are all the birth rates and this is corresponding to the mm1 n model and the same logic goes for the transient solution of uh, mm c k as well as mm c c. So, instead of this uh, lambdas and mu, so you will have a uh, corresponding birth rates and the death rates, but ultimately you will have a uh, n plus 1 uh, matrix determinant as a function of theta. And since these three models are going to be a irreducible positive recurrent, the stationary probability and the limiting probabilities exist. Therefore, this determinant is going to be always of the form theta times some other function as a degree as a polynomial of degree n the function of theta. So, this theta is corresponding to the stationary uh, probabilities or the limiting probabilities. Therefore, always you can get the n plus 1 the degree matrix, uh, one order matrix determined that is uh, theta times the polynomial of degree n as a function of theta. For the m m 1 n model, the birth rates are lambda and the death rates are mu and you can get this polynomial also in the form of product. The product of a theta plus lambda plus mu times alpha of n comma k square root of lambda mu, where alpha of n comma k is nothing but a, the k roots of a nth degree Chepsis polynomial of second kind there is a relation between the birth death process with the orthogonal polynomial. For instance, the m m 1 n model, the finite capacity m m 1 n model, the corresponding orthogonal polynomial for this birth death process is the Chepsis polynomial of the second kind. Similarly, you can say the orthogonal polynomial corresponding to the m m c c model that is a Charlier polynomial. Like that we can discuss uh, the orthogonal polynomial corresponding orthogonal polynomial for the finite capacity birth death processes. So, here for the m m n n model this is related to the Chepsis polynomial of second kind that is u n of x. So, once you are able to get the Chepsis polynomial roots and that roots is going to play a role in the product form and that is going to be the polynomial. 
note that uh, this polynomial has a distinct real factors. Therefore, you can use the partial fraction, then you take a inverse Laplace sum sum, finally you can get the pi n of t. I am skipping all the simplification part uh, and the main logic is uh, this um, n plus 1 th order matrix determinant and that determinant uh, has the factors and those factors are related to the Chepsis polynomial roots. So, once you use all those logics and uh, use the partial fraction, then finally you take a inverse Laplace sum sum for lambda is not equal to mu, you will get a steady state or stationary probabilities plus uh, this expression and this is a function of t e power minus lambda plus mu times t plus 2 times square root of lambda mu times t cos of r by by n plus 1 and denominator this expression multiplied by this and here this uh, result is related to the initial condition 0. That means, uh, at time 0 the system is empty. If the system is not empty, then you will have a one more expression here sin of this minus another term. So, that is you will have a little bigger expression for system size is uh, not empty and uh, this theta times this that will give the corresponding partial fraction and so on inverse Laplace it will give uh, the terms which is independent of t and that is related to the steady state probabilities because if you put t tends to infinity and these quantities are greater than 0. So, as a t tends to infinity the whole terms will tends to 0. Therefore, as a t tends to infinity you will have a pi n of t is equal to this expression and this is valid for rho is less than 1. With that condition rho is less than 1, with the condition rho is less than 1 those terms will tends to 0 and you will have only this term and that is going to be the steady state or limiting probabilities for mm1 n model. If you make a also n tends to infinity along with the t tends to infinity, you will have pi n's that is the steady state probability for the mm1 infinity model. So, even though I have explained a mm1 n transient solution in a brief way, but the same logic goes for the MMCC model also. The only difference is uh, this determinant has the lambdas and instead of mu, so you will have mu, 2 mu, 3 mu and so on. And instead of uh, the Chepsis polynomial, you will end up with the Charlier polynomial. But there is a difference between uh, this MM1 N model and the MMCC model transient solution. Since the Chepsis polynomial has a closed form roots, you can find out the factors. So, here these are all the factors and you know the factors as well as you can get the closed form expression for the M M N N transient solution, whereas a Charlier polynomial does not have a closed form uh, roots. Therefore, you will end up with the numerical uh, result for the transient solution for M M N M M C C model. Application of a continuous time Markov chain that is a finite source Markovian queuing models. This model is also known as a machine repairment model and you can think of uh, these pieces are nothing but the machines and uh, this is nothing but the repairman and here the scenario is uh, we have a uh, k pieces and each PC can give a print uh, job and the inter uh, arrival of a uh, print jobs that is exponentially distributed by the each PC. Therefore, uh, the print jobs uh, that is follow a uh, arrival process that is a Poisson process with the parameter lambda from each PC. And once the print jobs come to into the printer, it will wait for the print. And the time taken for the each print uh, that is also exponentially distributed with the parameter mu. And here there is a another assumption before the first print is over by the same PC, it cannot give the another print command. 
Therefore, after the print is over by any one particular uh, print job of any PC, then the things will go back to the same thing. Then with the inter uh, arrival of uh, print jobs generated that is exponentially distributed, then the print job can come into the printer. So, with these assumptions, you can think of a the stochastic process that means a number of uh, print jobs at any time t in the printer that is going to form a stochastic process and uh, with the assumption of uh, inter arrival of uh, print jobs that is exponential and the uh, actual printing job that is exponentially distributed and so on. Therefore, this is going to be a birth death process with the birth rates or uh, k times lambda and k minus 1 times lambda and so on whereas, the death rates that is mu because we have only one repair. So, this is nothing but a system size number of jobs in the print job printer. So, therefore, that varies from 0 to capital K because uh, we are making the assumption more than one print job cannot be given by the same PC before the print is over. And uh, from 0 to 1 the arrival rate will be any one of the k PCs therefore, the arrival rate is k times lambda and already one uh, print job is there in the system printer therefore, uh, out of k minus 1 PCs uh, one print job can come therefore, the entire arrival time that is exponentially distributed with the parameter k minus 1 times and lambda and so on. So, this is the way you can visualize the birth rates whereas, the death rates are mu. Once you know the birth rates and the death rates you can apply the birth death process concept to get the steady state probabilities. So, here we are getting the pi a is in terms of pi naught and the using summation of pi a is equal to 1 you are getting the pi naught also. And once you know the steady state probability you can get the all other measures. So, the difference is uh, in this model it is a finite source therefore, the birth rates are the function of it is a state dependent birth rates whereas, the death rates are mu's only. Simulation of a queuing model, I will do it in the next lecture. The summary of uh, today's lecture, I have discussed the simple Markovian queuing models other than MM on infinity that I have discussed in the lecture, uh, previous lecture and the stationary distribution and the all other performance measures using the birth death process we have discussed for these queuing models. And finally, I discussed the finite source Markovian queuing model also. Thanks. Thank you.